Right, hi. Um, I haven't been on for a while. Uh, don't know what it is, this lockdown and whatever. I've been uh, making videos at the moment, but I've decided that today I'm going to have to um, get on and do something. So I'm going to do a little knife painting. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, a seascape in all probability, but um, I'm not sure what's going to be in it. I was going to do a big old landscapey thing, but decided against it. So, without further ado, here, oh, first things first, I'm using a very limited palette. I've got titanium white, yellow ochre, um, terra verte, cobalt blue and light red and that's all I'm using should be enough there to get some sea colours so off we go, I'm going to start off with the sky using a bolt canvas board not a particularly good one um, where did I get it from either the works or the range one of the two but once you've got it covered in that's a mixture of um, System 3 Burnt Sienna and PVA glue So that's a perfectly good Undercoating all I'm doing is just giving a coat of titanium white to the sky I shall stick some more stuff into that blend it in this is sort of basically my thinking time. definitely pining for the seaside you can see another summer coming up without too much getting away and getting out Just putting a little glint along the horizon so it sticks out a bit more to me. Right, while I'm doing that, I shall mix up a bluey sort of colour as well. I'm using um, Alkyd Flow Medium with the oils, just a dash of it. Not to make it flow, but to help it dry more quickly. Thank you. 
start to look like the sky anyway. Um, as we come towards the horizon, I'm going to add just a touch of the yellow ochre. Lots of white. I think I might put some headland going across there. there I'm going to put a dab of burnt umber if you mix the burnt umber and the blue you get black anyway so a very handy darkening color Some blue burnt umber touch of the light red and I'll have a nice dark bit bluer nice dark cloudy colour coming in over this way Still going. I'm probably seeming a bit quiet today. I've just realised I've um, got out the habit of speaking. Caroline and I are here on our own. I tend to be up here faffing about. And I just realised earlier on today I haven't actually spoken to anyone apart from Caroline for weeks. It's very strange. Some. 
with being deaf I can't talk on the phone so I don't have that element allowed I well not allowed but it's just not a an option for me so yeah apart from Caroline I haven't spoken to a single living soul I speak to the dogs all the time I just learned that the uh, local council are going to be cutting back on privileges for dogs which is rather annoying because they've got nowhere else to go in the parks and now they're not going to be allowed to run free poor little pooches so from having two and a half three hours of free running in uh, open countryside it looks as if they're going to get poddling around the garden poor little things don't know who makes these decisions about why dog can't go to the park probably people without dogs some of whom I may be talking to now so I shut up getting somewhere with that sky now need something over there I don't think I will have a headland on the far side. I was going to put a headland going right the way across there. In fact, I'll have something coming down here instead. Right out of white. I'm using my SAA paints which um, I think are absolutely wonderful uh, professional level and they're just they're really lovely they work beautifully 
nice and creamy. And compared to a lot of professional paints, they don't break the bank either. just to get a bit more detail in there that's the downside of dogs a little bit of bow hair light colour in these clouds over here just to break it up a little bit ah, that's not too bad so far some more bluey bright blue colour
Right, there we go. Straighten out that little bit of horizon over there. There, we've got a sort of difficult to see on the video so far. Might look better when it's uh, on screen. Right, okay. Scrape out the place. This is just palette scrapings here. too soon I missed that bit there we go I'm leaving every now and again don't know if you can see them there but in the middle of there there's odd little bits of this reddy brownie color showing through I'll leave that for now now, Terry Verti, he is a nice bloke, Terry. I've been cracking that joke a long time now. Mixing a sea colour, cobalt blue, touch of Terra Verte or Terra Verte Earth Green just mixing a sort of sea colour put a touch tiny touch of the umber into it and some more white This is, like most of my seascapes, loosely based on the west coast of the Slynn or the west coast of Wales. So that isn't your nice warm blue med, that's freezy cold Atlantic out there. Thank <laughs> you. 
which I thought immune me to anything until my wife who is an Abedonian took me for a paddle in the North Sea up off the coast of Aberdeenshire now that was cold sea and a very wonky horizon up some yellow ochre a touch of the well no a lot of the sea colour I want to get the thin stuff This paint is lovely and creamy, like spreading butter.
little splodge of the umber. We have a little edge. We'll put a headland across there later on. Now, bit. Ooh, that's not very clean. off a little bit of palette I want to mix a sort of reflection-y colour so I want to put a little pool in the middle here Now,
Right. I'm getting somewhere now. I just want to put something in the foreground. Which, knowing my beloved coastline, will be something rocky and lumpy. And seaweedy. I'm going to put a little bit of seaweed. Greeny colour. Enough of the seaweed for now. They should make some rocky things. Umber. Green. Blue. Light red. Some nice dark lump. I'm keeping it fairly rough here and using some of the underpainting to give the impression of that sandiness in between the rocks. a bit white and the burnt umber touch the red I just want to dance a few highlights into these rocks
Some very, very dark bits. I'm going to have to use a touch of ultramarine for the dark. very dark. I've added a touch of ultramarine to the palette and I'm mixing that with the burnt umber because the ultramarine mix is slightly darker than the cobalt. I'm not drawing, I'm just trying to juxtapose some dark tones with the light tones and the mid tones. A little bit of texture needs some light going across there a little bit of headland back to the cobalt touch of light red more white more white again Uh, just flattening off the bottoms of these bits of stony things. There's some little bits of white for the wet beat. need a 
a little bit of something over there. I don't know what it's going to be. Just to balance things. Big Rock Candy Mountain. A really dark, dark. Right, um, just realised that the battery ran out about couple of seconds before the end of the video so I didn't have a chance to say goodbye or anything um, I just got to putting in that big rock and there it is I added in a few more darks and lights a little bit more structure to the foreground uh, I think I might have fiddled around with the waves a little bit over there flattened out some bits but basically, there you go, that's that. I'm calling it Porthoscad in Dreaming on a lockdown day. Because it almost fits with the old Mamas and Papas song. So there we go, that's that Porthoscad in Dreaming.